weren't sure if we were gonna speak because we're both we both have a cold, so uh -oh. sorry about that. Oh, I think Alex. we did wanna wanna talk a little bit about what's happening here today because um, to be silent is to be complicit, and that's what we've seen in the majority of the police department now. Um, not just the people who have been on paid vacation for a year and are being rehired. Um, and these are the same people who, in a courtroom, feared that well, they had the nerve to fear for reputational harm. For for people to see what they've said to each other and laughed about, the civil rights violations they've committed and bragged about, and to rightfully criticize them. Um, and if us, if the public outcry is the only natural consequence they face, it'll never be enough. Um, Cause it's clear that there's just this fundamental inability to see the community that they're supposed to serve as human beings. Um, so I think we just wanted to be here again today in solidarity with everybody because this has been, this is what the institution of policing was built for. Um, and we didn't want it to remain this way in this day and age. Um, and the only thing that we're able to do at this point is to keep remembering exactly what these people have said, what they have done to us as a community, what they stand for, what they're paid for, um, and to keep talking about it. Um, but yes, uh, yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Angelo Quinto! Angelo Quinto! Angelo Quinto! Angelo Quinto! Justice for Angelo, justice to all our families.